working in human rights in uh, 1980. And at the time, all of Latin America was under right-wing military dictatorships. Now, today, there's not one left standing. All of Eastern Europe was under communism. Today, there's no communist governments left. South Africa was at the height of apartheid. Today, South Africa has had a, free, a series of freely elected governments elected by a majority of their people, and women's rights was not on the international agenda. Um, and now women's rights is a key part of every country's uh, foreign relations. Alzheimer's was something that nobody was talking about. All those changes came about not because governments or militaries or huge multinational corporations wanted them to. In fact, all of those forces tried to stop these changes. They came about because small groups of determined people harnessed the dream of freedom and made it come true. That's what made those changes happen. That's what this organization does. It's gathering the caregivers. It's gathering the women. It's gathering the scientists. It's gathering the members of Congress. It's gathering the political leaders in other countries. It's going to the journalists. It's saying we need to, it's, it's small groups of people bringing more and more small groups of people in. It's identifying what do these people have in common that can help add to this cause. And this is after all a cause of human rights. It's the dignity of the aged. It's the healthcare of all of us. And, you know, for those who think, well, Alzheimer's is only about what happens when you get old, that's not right. Because if you are not exercising, if you are not getting the nutrition you need, if you are uh, not getting the trauma therapy that you need, that's a young person's issue. And that's something that we as a society have to address across the board for our physical health, for our mental health, because we love each other and because we want to be there for one another. So that's what gives me hope.